Hi there! In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the public transportation mode on Google Maps. Now, this is my favorite mode on Google Maps for traveling because it tells you everything you need to know traveling around a new city using their public transportation without getting lost. If you do want to learn more about all the functions on Google Maps to make traveling much, much easier, head over to my website and check out my program there. I'll put the link below. But for now, let's jump right into this video. Beside the car is an icon that looks like a bus or a train. This one is for public transportation and is one of my favorites while traveling. Tap that one now. Again, it'll come up with a time beside the icon. It will also come up with different route options. You can tap into each white route box and it will give you the details. The default is to show you the fastest route. It can come up with buses, subways, trains, and if there are any public transport ferries in that area, it will also show up. When you tap into one of the routes, it will tell you either the bus numbers or the train station name, and it will also tell you when the next one is coming, how many stops there are, the name of the stops you will be getting off, as well as letting you know how much walking you will need to get to the bus stop or train station, as well as how to get to your final destination if you need to walk from that station. It will also include a walking map for you to follow to get you to all the points. I'm going to tap into this first one. When you tap into one of the routes, it will tell you either the bus numbers or the train station names and it will also tell you when the next one is coming, how many stops there are, the name of the stop you will be getting off at, as well as letting you know how much walking will be needed to get to and from the bus and train stations. It will include a walking map for you to follow to get you to all the points. To get into the walking maps, all you have to do is press map across from the walk information. A dotted line always represents walking. To get out of the screen, you just want to swipe down or press that down arrow. And then if you don't like this route, you can tap the black arrow again and it'll bring you to the main screen where you can choose a different option. When you do use the public transportation directions, you can set up a few extra things. First, in this dark blue area, you will see that it says depart at the time that you have looked this up. It will automatically set the time for you to leave as immediate. If this is not the case, you want to press on the clock icon and a screen will pop up. You can set the time to when you want to depart or you can choose when you want to arrive by setting the date and time on the scroll. You can also choose the last route of the day by inputting the date. Once you are finished, you can press done or you can cancel out of this. Another thing you can set up, also in the dark blue, is under options. You can choose your preferred modes. Say if you don't like traveling by subway, you can turn on the bus and it will only come up with mostly bus routes. You can also choose the route type. Best route is always the default but you can instead choose fewer transfers or less walking down at the bottom here. If you do turn on some of the preferred modes, you want to remember to turn these off again if you're wanting all the options to come up again because it will leave this as your default. And that is how you use the public transportation mode on Google Maps. Now your next step is to start practicing this at home now. When you know how to use this app effectively before you leave on your trip, it is going to cause you a so much less stress when you are traveling. Because that's the last thing we need is more stress on our trip. Now, if you have any questions, comments, put them down below and I will answer them. So until next time, I will see you later. Bye.